the other area I would like to talk about is what I call designing uh, open education resource uh, OER. Um, first of all, our open resources imply that um, different people will, will have access to the resources. And this is a phenomenon that has caught on because of the expenses involved uh, when we have open resources, then people from different countries can get access to, to the material. And that's, that saves money, uh, but more, more importantly, it also provides an opportunity for people to use different uh, materials from different uh, countries fast uh, or quickly uh, without spending so much money. So the whole knowledge in teaching and so on, improve much, much faster. And countries that do, don't have a lot of facilities, then have advantage to get access to all materials um, all over. Now, when you're des designing these materials, uh, it's got two phases. Uh, first, we have got to, to, to look at the content. The content is the subject matter itself. It has to be, um, we have to have the material, the resources that we're talking about, we have to have that material, it has to be uh, scientifically valid. And once that phase is, is done, then we can go to what we call, how do you convert this into really um, OER material? So I'm going to illustrate an example again um, of the work that we have done with Macquarie University. The content was looking at improving the dairy value chain, uh, which is looking at the dairy industry, looking at pasture the milk, right from the milking up the marketing. So that's that was the, the research part. And that came under a course called Meat Hygiene and Production at Macquarie University. So that's the course. So the material then, uh, along that chain, uh, examples and case material were collected by the students. What do we mean by uh, say, such a disease? Pictures of conditions, pictures of good milk, pictures of clean milk. How do we produce clean milk? How do we, how do we utilize the milk products, including making yogurt? and how do we encourage a uh, good price for the product. So all those things were documented with good cases. Now, that kind of material, information would be very helpful then to say, to, to put it in teaching. Traditionally, what was done is to have this in a slide form or in a syllabus, but, we are, but with OER product production, these are actually then that content materials is given to individuals who are specialists in creating or converting these uh, cases into really teaching materials uh, where they start with you know things like objectives of the courses, they illustrate this testing within the um, within the material so that it becomes two modules, modules that are self uh, self explanatory objectives of the material, the learning course, the examples, the, the quizzes involved, involved and they, they are put in a, in a, in a, in a well-checked um, uh, module or modules with where quality is, is uh, actually uh, verified by people who understand the content. And then this is put in, in a common, uh, on a, on a, in a common place on a website that is created, and that's why it's our OER, and then individuals can access this material. Uh, for instance, in terms of reform, uh, those cases, or those modules can be accessed from the reform, from the uh, website, or Makero website. So that is the, really the, uh, the important thing that in terms of designing OER, we have the number one and the most important part is the content. 
we have to have valid content material, accurate, so that there are no errors, relevant to the issue. And once we have that, then we need to, to, to go next phase involving people who know how then to, to, to write teaching modules. And once that's done, then we, we have to have people in IT, people who can help to design uh, this on the website so that anybody can get, can really uh, get access to them. So it's basically it's three phases. Content material, writing in education format, and then the IT uh, part of it. And this is, has been one of the most exciting things actually that uh, has happened uh, in terms of uh, looking at the usage of uh, the research that we have done on Akshay.